Hey guys, Scott from Filmora FX. And Filmora 13 is in beta. I have a copy of it. It is just so chock full of AI, it will blow your mind. Anyway, let me show you one of my favorite new features. There are so many, it's kind of hard to say favorite, but let me show you one of the awesome new features. Uh, it's going to help your masking. I know a lot of people have trouble with masking. This is going to help you out a lot. Check it out. Uh, we are now in the world of AI. Uh, and that includes masking, and I'm going to show you how it works. I just want to put a quick disclaimer here. I am using a beta version of Filmora. Uh, so there are things on the screen that you will see that you do not have access to quite yet. It is about to drop, so don't worry. You'll have all the fun I'm having real soon. Let's put something on the screen. And again, you may see things you, that you haven't seen before, but you'll get it soon. We're actually going to drop this picture on track two. I'll show you why in a sec. Let's spread it out a little bit. This is nothing more than a picture of a whole bunch of old Coke cans, Coke bottles from the 40s all the way up. And you'll see something new right here under masking. It's called AI Mask. Okay, it's finished. <laughs> you have three choices. Smart brush, select character, select subject. Let's go with smart brush. You may have seen this version in 12. I'm going to draw a line. It's masked. Okay, let's reset it. I'm going to select character. Now it's going to find me a character on the screen and automatically figure out where it is and what it is and put a mask around it. It doesn't work. Why? Because there's no character on the screen. And I wanted to show you that because this is very important. This is AI. It checked the screen. It understands that there was not a male or female or a person on the screen. So it said, hey, there's no mask here. And then finally, let's go to subject. Each one of these is a subject. And it's done. It's already finished at fast. So you can hover over any of these bottles that you want to throw a mask around. I'm going to choose this one. There it is. It's already masked. If you don't like it, because you know what, guys, AI, as great as it is, well, it's not always 100% perfect. You can uh, like grab this little piece here, and, and you see the magnifier, and I can just bring it right there and pretty much adapt the mask to anything I want. Now, what can we do now? We can do everything that we've always been able. We can keyframe a mask, which is pretty cool. You, so you can do mask opacity. Wow, the things you can do with a mask now with the simple of ease is pretty wild. You can also invert, and of course, you understand what that means. Now we have everything here except that we put a hole in it. Uh, also very useful for certain things, but for today we're going to go with that. And I'm going to take extend, pull it in just a hair. I'm going to take my blur strength and just barely move it out, just a little blur. And now I'm going to show you why I put it on track two. This is what I'm about to show you is just one of the million things you can do with a mask. Library. Intro. You may not see this in your version yet. Don't worry about it. This is just for the sample I'm doing. I'm going to throw a background behind it. Okay. So, this is a countdown. So, let's pretend like we're doing a product introduction. A product introduction. Let's click on that again. Now, I want you to make sure because now you can mat, you can, you can keyframe everything. So, be very careful that we're not keyframing the mask. We want to keyframe the video. So be careful where you are on your screen or you'll just spend a whole lot of wasted time. I'm going to keyframe compositing on this clip track number two. We're going to take our opacity to zero right about when the number 10 shows up on the screen. is about when I want my Coke bottle fading in. Okay. Boom. And bring it up, and it's done. Obviously, I would throw some music behind this to give it the full effect. And there we are. And you can even get all crazy and keyframe in a little rotation so it rotates with the numbers. You can add some music behind it, throw some special effects in it, whatever you want. This video is about AI masking, not under AI tools. It's a whole new set. We are under mask. Back to the top for you. And the new AI mask. This was the previous one from Filmora 12. Very useful still.
This is just a lot faster. And that's all I wanted to talk about today. Please hit that bell for notifications because I'm going to be putting a whole series of videos out about the new AI features in Filmora 13. They are going to blow your mind. See you soon.